Hello everybody, it's Christine. It is time for Stamp It Like It's Hot. And I'm gonna be honest, I almost didn't do this one because I'm going, I'm running, I don't have enough time to do all the things and all that. But I just did a layout using this October 2023 hip kit and I don't have much paper left. And I thought, you know what, Christine, you can put a layout together with this much paper and do it quickly. And I go, you know what, let's just do it. So I have pulled out, our, our challenge for this month, by the way, is embossing, okay? So let me show the pictures, and I'll show you what I'm gonna do about the embossing situation. So these pictures are from uh, when we went to, um, I think it was Universal that has the, the uh, Harry Potter stuff, and it's Hogwarts, the decorations and stuff, right? So this is where, um, oh my gosh, I should know his name. The big hairy man, the giant man with the hairy beard thing, and that's where he lives, right? <laughs> it's the little cottage with the pumpkins and stuff. And my daughter's kind of walk in and put my, my husband's actually in front of her, but you can't really see him, but she's pointing at Hogwarts and then there's a little train. So I'm kind of, I may just do these, but at the same time I was struggling with it. Cause I'm like, do I have context? Um, I don't know. So I'm going to have to see if I use all four pictures or if I just use the two of the pumpkins. So, cause the reason I'm doing that is because there's these little pumpkins, you guys, how cute is that? Okay. So that's the pictures. And what I'm thinking I'm going to do here is I've got these stamps here. I've clearly only ever used the one and the five. But they're these really cute numbers. And I'm thinking I'm going to do 2020 is my, my thinking on this. Why is there? Oh, I see. Um, I think I'm going to do 2020 is my thinking on it. And I've got this, my Versa mark. okay. It's old. I'm hoping and praying you guys this works because I haven't done embossing in so long. And then I pulled out this old uh, embossing powder. Y'all, i got to show you this too. This is my glitter bucket. Like, I just, I have glitters and stuff in here. And I never pull these out. I'm sad. Um, I may start trying to use some of this. We'll see. I gotta remember how I even adhere glitter. I don't even remember. I know it's glue. I gotta think about how I used to do that stuff. But this is actually an embossing powder. It's enchanted gold. And I thought it could work. I mean, I don't know. We're gonna have to play with it. I'm probably gonna stamp it on white. Um, actually, I say that. Maybe I'll figure out a way to wanna use one of these little papers. This could be cute. This is all my scraps. So I may try it on this and see if it looks good. Um, and so that's what I'm gonna do. So give me just a second. I do have some branding strips over here too that if I really need to, I can get into to use. So I don't know my design yet, I guess is my point. I do, the only sheet of paper I have left, a full sheet is this one. And I really like it. I'm gonna leave it this side up. I'm kind of actually imagining I may come across and do like a little bit of an L design here. So I have like, you know, these, I'm gonna, I may cut this off or I may not, I haven't decided. I may come like this. I don't know, you guys. What if I come like this and then like this? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. If I go like this, because see my challenge here is my photos, where'd it go? Are one vertical and one horizontal. So, I gotta think on that. Um, okay, give me just a minute. I'm gonna, I will, I will promise I will stamp and emboss and stuff. Oh, I gotta pull my heat gun out too. I'll do that on camera, but let me think about my design for just a brief minute and I will be gone. I'll be, I'll be back on rather. I'll be back in a second. Well, you guys, this layout turned out cute, but I'm not going to lie. I had a few mishaps. <laughs> so the first thing I do is I stamp this, um, watermark or Subversa mark ink on my paper. And of course I put my head right over the top of where I'm stamping because, you know, y'all don't need to see that, right? No, <laughs> I needed to see, this stuff is so clear. I couldn't see, on, but here's me trying to even see it. Like I can't see the ink after I put it down, which that's kind of by design, right? It's a clear ink. Um, it actually says it's called, um, it doesn't even say embossing ink. It says like watermark ink or something like that. Um, but it, I couldn't see it. And so I thought, okay, and so I leaned over and then right there, I was going to do the two clear at the same time. I was going to do 20, 20 or 20 and then 20, um, before I put the embossing powder on so I could do it all at the same time and I couldn't see the ink. <laughs> so here's my head again. And I'm so sorry, you guys, but I left it in. So at least you could kind of see the process. And then I decided, well, I got it all over my little desk thing here. You know what? Or my mat. I'll just, I'll just pick it up and move it. No, that doesn't really work either. You guys. <laughs> It has been a long time since I've actually done any embossing, and I don't know why. I don't know. And then I realize it's because I'm not terribly talented at it, I think. I, I say that. I mean, really, it's, you know, you use a stamp and your ink, and then you put your powder on it. I will say I had forgotten how much I enjoy sparkles. Um, 
However, I'm getting glitter literally everywhere. <laughs> I got done with this. I have got glitter all over the place, you guys. I use a little baby wipe to wipe up my board and stuff after I take this off. And what's really funny is I do my stamping and I put it all away. You don't even see it really. On the upper right corner, you see I've kind of put my ink down. I've got my embossing powder all put back together and everything. And I'm just heating my little 2020s here. And you can see it kind of, you know, if you've never done embossing before, basically it's uh, it's got this stuff in it. And I forget the, the material, but it's got stuff in it that when you heat it, it melts. And so I did that. And then I started to say everything and I thought, wait a minute. I can ink the edges of the paper and put the embossing stuff on there because... I was looking at the paper and it was just bugging me that it had no, um, I don't know how to explain it. Like I have really gotten to the point my brain needs a frame around the outside of the, the paper. Um, it's really hard for me to look at it and, and have no end point. Like my brain doesn't like that. And so I was struggling, like, how do I take care of that? And then I thought, oh, I can use this embossing powder and the ink and put it around the outside and it'll be a little frame. And so I do that. I put my little inversa mark ink around the outside. I take my gold powder here and it's a very subtle frame though. I will tell you, it's not like it's really in your face, but it's a nice little touch. I think it adds that gold to the outside. Now I'm not going to call that necessarily. I don't know if that's called stamping or not really. Cause I mean, I used my ink pad, but I didn't use a stamp. So I'm not sure this qualifies this portion of the embossing. If this qualifies as the stamp it like it's hot, but I did it. So I put the gold edges around the outside and I've got my little 2020 there. Um, then I decided the other papers, again, it was kind of bugging me that they didn't have like a, a defined edge. And so I pulled out my aged mahogany um, and just, you know, kind of lightly went around the outside edges of the paper. So I do the blue one. Uh, let me think just a minute. I did the pumpkin one already. I think I did the wood grain with the 2020 on it. I'm not certain at this point, to be honest with you. I, did, I was watching, but not really closely watching. So I'm going to add it to the outside of my blue. So basically every piece of paper except the photo mats. I will tell you when I do map the, I'll map the photos in a minute, but I don't do those. But I do all the other papers with this aged mahogany to give it a real slight um, defined edge. And I'm going to basically build like this little L design. Um, it's not anything, you know, I'd suggest a uh, truly inspired per se, but I liked it a lot. That's how my scraps kind of worked out. So I'm going to put the little navy piece back behind there. Now I'm going to screw that up, you guys, in just a minute. Uh, you'll see me. I'll screw it up and I'll have to fix it. Um, and then I got my two photos and I went ahead and, you know, had the two different orientations, which I think turned out kind of cute because I will add, when I start pulling stuff out, I'm going to add a little little uh, journaling spot above the right-hand picture. So I want the 2020 to kind of go on the top there. That's technically not my title. Um, that is another thing I managed to booger up is the title. I call it this, I call this thing Hogwarts. And I realized I've even glued it down the title at one point, and I realized this is not Hogwarts, this is Hagrid's. I am a, I, I enjoy Harry Potter, but I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I'm like a diehard fan, so it's not like I sit and, um, you know, know off the top of my head all the details, and not that, I mean, this is technically a detail, because it's pretty important. <laughs> I remembered his name was Hagrid. I was carrying on, I couldn't remember the Harry man's name, but that's his name is Hagrid. So anyways, you'll see me in just a minute, and here's where I realized I hadn't inked the edges of the uh, little wood grain. And also, I think the blue is where I do this here, too. So I'll do these two pieces because I, I realize it looks kind of funny to me. Um, so I'll ink the edges of these. I'm, I'm also trying to be careful about not getting it all over my fingers because this the distress oxide takes just a tad longer to dry. And if I touch the edge and then touch the paper, I get, my, I get myself in trouble. So um, I'm trying to pay attention to that. So here's where I'm kind of figuring, okay, um, I'm going to put my little banner here. I'm going to organize all this stuff. <laughs> and then I realized, oh, you need to glue some stuff down. So I don't want it to move. Um, I could have picked it up and put, plus I had the ink on the edges. So I was like, I'll just put my thing here and, and put my glue down. And I'll just start gluing stuff down. So I'm going to tell you about the photos while I'm kind of gluing stuff down here. Um, these are the, you know how when you go like to amusement parks, they almost always have some kind of, if you think about Disney or Universal Studios, which is where this is at Universal, um, or even like just Six Flags or something like that, they'll have like little decorations on the outside of the rides, right, to kind of entertain you while you're waiting in line. Um, and frankly, the Florida parks just do a phenomenal job, Disney and Universal, with the the decor. And I will tell you, the Harry Potter world at Universal was just, it was amazing. You had to go through this little hidden it's kind of like the, in the train, you know, the train station where they go through like the little hidey hole. It's like invisible or whatever. Well, they do something kind of like that where you have to go through this thing. It's not like a ginormous arch that you walk through. You have to almost just find it. 
And um, and then when you get in there, the village is, it looks like the friggin' village. It's so cool. There's where I screwed up, you guys. I started to put the navy blue stripe on top of the pumpkin, and that was not correct. <laughs> um, I don't think it would have worked. It might have worked, but I, I laid it there, and I thought, that doesn't look right. And then I realized, uh, yeah, that's not right. So I had to fix that. Luckily, it's no big deal, right? I just lifted it up and put it down. So here's where I'm messing with my little photos. And I don't remember if I glued this down first or if I still found the ephemera. So the ephemera is fall-based. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but it's fall. And um, I find this little sticker says fall vibes. Now, we did go in late or mid to late September. So I was like, well, that still works okay. Um, so I go ahead and stick that down initially. That's not going to stay, you guys. That's off the sticker sheet. I don't keep it there. It does not stay. Um, so I glued my photos down. And now here's where I find a couple of stickers over here. So there's like a little tree with some pumpkins. I want to kind of keep the pumpkins, right? I'm trying to use the pumpkins. So I put a couple of pumpkin stickers down. And then that's when I go, you know what? Let me pull out the ephemera and stuff. It's a little kit of little little uh, package of, of their leftover ephemeras here. And I realize I have all these pumpkins. And I go, oh, no, I need to use the pumpkins. Now, technically, the stickers are pumpkins. But just from a scale perspective, it, it wasn't going to be right. So I'm going to take that fall vibes back up. And I go, okay, I don't need that, actually. It doesn't really matter anyways. This isn't really the title. It's not like it's um, the, the title or the uh, topic is not about it being fall. It was more you know, about the pumpkins. So I put the little um, white, what is that, cardstock pumpkins up there. Most of the other ones, though, actually, I'm looking at the layout right now. There, All the rest of them are essentially vellum. So I'm going to lay these little vellum pieces. I'll try that tag over there because I do want to add just a tiny bit of journaling, um, but I decided against that. So I put that little tag there. Now, it's got technically got a little acorn on it, but I end up covering that with that pumpkin. So that's going to go there. Um, I do like this little... Uh, tabby thing here. He's going to go right there. I haven't written anything on that quite yet. I think I'm going to write the name of the ride on it, actually. Because um, it's like a motorcycle ride, which, by the way, you guys, was my favorite ride. I do not like scary rides. I don't like roller coasters, like, at all. I don't like to go up in the air and come down. I just don't, none of that stuff really attracts me at all. Um, you know, some people like to scare themselves for fun. I don't like to do that. That is not me. <laughs> so, but this one, although you do kind of go a little bit of a roller coaster -y type thing. Most of it's kind of a little bit side to side or something. So I don't, I, I remember writing it and thinking, this is so fun. I did enjoy this one. Um, and I'm trying to remember now, I think both times I rode the motorcycle, the way it's set up is there's a motorcycle and there's a sidecar. And I think I, maybe I rode the sidecar the first time, but I rode the motorcycle the second time. I'm not really sure now, but I really enjoyed that ride. Now that's where I decided I did not like the bottom of that banner and I turned it, I want to turn it to a fishtail banner. So I pulled that off and cut it. This is what I mean. I kept having to like fix things I boogered up. <laughs> um, I'll change my mind about some other stuff in a second too. I'm going to end up pulling um, those stickers off because um, I decided I want to use these gold like foam stickers that came in the kit. So I've glued all my little uh, vellum pumpkins down. I have glued my title down, the wrong one. I will fix that, um, I think, before I take the picture. I'm pretty sure I do before I they take the picture. I've put Hogwarts down, and that's wrong. But I've got all these little gold tree pieces, and I thought, you know what? I've got this embossed 2020 that's in gold, so I'm going to go ahead and add these gold trees. Um, again, not really – I mean, there's trees in the picture, so I think it's okay. Uh, really, I was just trying to bring that gold in. So I kind of have a visual triangle with my gold once I get done with this. So I've got some little trees. There's a few leaves on here. Um, I'll actually put those at the top next to the 2020. I don't put them next to the trees, though, believe it or not. They don't go there. They're going to go at the top. I just put a couple, uh, three little leaves at the top up there next to the 2020. It's kind of bring attention to the 2020 because it is subtle. I mean, the light has to catch it for you to really read it. And I've got that going on. I think, okay, that's really cute. I don't hate that at all. Um... I think the next thing I do, though, is I start to realize, okay, I'm going to start, I'm done, I'm going to clean up, and I start looking at this, and I go, holy, that's not the right title, you guys, <laughs> and so I do fix it before I do, uh, before I do the slowdown and everything, so here's the titles fixed, it's Hagrid's here, so here you go, you can kind of see what I did, hopefully you can see the embossed stamping, which was the whole point of this layout up there on the 2020, Look at that little shine. I kind of let you see the little shine. See, that looks so cool, right? Anyway, thanks so much for playing. Make sure you check out the playlist. What, thanks for playing. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out the playlist because there's a ton of folks that play along. And we will see you next time. Bye.